What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the DAG Garage. We have a 2046 Dodge Ram. I, well, that's not right. I think it's like a 2012 Dodge Ram. Uh, this thing is absolutely destroyed paint-wise. Uh, we're not gonna be doing any paint correction to it. The customer just wants the exterior done. But if I was to do the exterior on this, this thing would easily need a two-step paint correction because it's just, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it is just swirl city all over the place. Anyways, uh, what we've got going on today is obviously we're gonna be using our two bucket method with all our wonderful brushes and things for the tires and wheels. The Adams wheel and tire cleaner. We're gonna be using some clay luber because we are gonna clay this thing later. We've got our graphene tire dressing. This is a new one for me, um, the black trim restorer from Adams. Uh, this thing has some black plastic around there that just, it's, it's sun faded big time. Uh, we've got Adams Mega Foam. I have not tried this out yet. I've been a fan of the Chemical Guys soaps, but this one I feel like is gonna be some nice foam city. Our foam cannon, obviously, our IK foam sprayer, that's what we're gonna be using for the wheels and tires. An assortment of brushes, some microfiber applicator pads, the standard things, microfiber towels, things like that. But anyways, let's get into it. Hi guys. We're just over here, you know, doing some things, do some stuff. I need to fill this up with some agua. Care about that. Alrighty, so we've got our bucket of water. We've got our IK foam sprayer, which is probably gonna need to be filled up after this tire. Uh, a wheel for, a wheel, a brush for the wheels. Excuse me while I coat myself in rubber wheel cleaner for rubbers. Uh, okay, stiff bristle for the tires to get all this nasty brown junk off there. The soft, a uh, little bit softer brush for the face of the wheel. And then assortment of things for the barrel of the wheel and whatnot, so. Um, we already sprayed it off just real quick just to get the surface dirt off of there, but we are going to go ahead and coat it with this. What? Gimbal went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. All right, the IK foam spur with some wheel and tire cleaner from Adams. Gonna make sure to really get in the barrel of this one because it is. I think those are um, plastic as well. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said. We let it sit for a little bit. You can see all the brown starting to come off here, but uh, this is where it's really gonna start coming off. This is one of those things that when you go to the car wash, it is a really, really poor job uh, being done of actually cleaning wheels and tires. This stuff really helps dressing bond a lot better. If you have a dirty tire, Dressings are not going to bond well at all. Um, they're not gonna last long, even if they do happen to hold onto the tire at all. But, all right, we got that. All right, we got the face. 
grab our Rimpaka brushes. Oh, I thought it was a toilet bowl cleaner. Probably could be used for that too. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little brushy, brush, brushy, brushy of the rims. You can tell these rims have really never been cleaned, um, especially like on the inside of the barrel here. All right, so we've got the um, wheel and tire done for the first round of it. Uh, the wheel is clean, but I still want to go back and... Do you keep hitting the off button or something? No, it's not. Well, something doesn't look locked. Well, it's not that it's not locked, it's that it is not balanced. That might be better. Okay, go ahead. Is it already going? Yeah, 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 it's balanced better now. It's okay. Better. All right, so we already did the first coating of the wheel and tire cleaner over the whole face of the wheel and the tire. I just want to go back and hit the tire one more time just to make sure that there's all the dirt off there because I don't know the last time this has actually been done, so. Product. I can tell you guys though that this foam sprayer definitely helps product go a lot longer, or a lot further I should say. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we're going to take the wheel tire brush again, go over it and we're going to spray it down and we'll call it good. We got the front driver's side tire done. Uh, this one, we're not gonna spray off the tire first because I want this chemical to have as much of a dwell time and actually like straight onto the rubber as possible. So, here we go. I already see it really starting to brown up. I did make this concentration just a little bit stronger of a dilution with the wheel and tire cleaner. Give it a second, agitate, watch all the brown yuckiness come off. Grab our stiffy brush. Mmm, brown yumminess all over. Yes. Now, I would encourage you guys, I'm wearing sunglasses, uh, but don't let this stuff get in your eyes. Obviously, it's designed to clean wheels and tires does not belong in your eyeballs, so wear protective equipment, please. I bet this stuff will change your eye color to hazel to blind. <laughs> From hazel to blind.
those are not powder coated. Or no. if they are, they did a really horrible job. No, those are... Uh, it feels plasticky. It's plasti dip. Oh. Well, we got the tires and wheels done, so based on those, I'm kind of scared to see what we're gonna get when we open this up, but uh, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, something's never been touched in its life, kind of like me. <laughs> something's never been touched in its life, kind of like Madonna, at least that's what she says. Lying. This is kind of like the old adage. You can look, but you can't touch. <laughs> I gotta grab a plastic bag. Anyways, we're gonna put a grocery bag over so we're not flooding it with water. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. We're not like soaking this thing with water. If I can get it to go around the intake here. Good grief. All right, and that's all we really need because this thing is not gonna get that flooded. We just wanna protect it, so. All right, we're gonna spray it off. We're gonna coat it with some Chemical Guys all-purpose cleaner. Give it a good rub down <laughs> and uh, yeah, spray it off. And, not all you get. Yeah, I've never been touched. Wrong side. You were alive, good dad. Just gonna sit here and contemplate my life choices up until this moment. Well, anyways. What we're doing here is just blasting off all the loose dirt and stuff that's in here. That's not what I want you to do. Stay there. Grab our all-purpose cleaner, give it a good spray, and we'll grab some brushes and have a good time. All right, Chemical Guys all-purpose cleaner. I've got it diluted four to one, and we are not going to be shy. Spray, 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 spray. This is a workout, by the way, if you've never done it. And since this is in the sun, we're not gonna let it sit for very long because uh, I don't want this stuff drying on there. But yeah, I'm gonna do all this, grab some brushes, go to town, spray it all down again. I'll tell you what though, this engine bay is gonna look mint when we're done. All right, all right come back at it with a brush. Remember the cleaner is gonna be doing a lot of the work, so don't, uh, don't go super crazy with, you know, getting in the fine cracks and crevices and things like that, because once you spray it back down with some water, it's going to, uh, it's going to get all that loose dirt and stuff out of there. Now, what's your opinion on steam cleaning an engine bay? You can. Um, it's just very tedious. Um, I have a steamer. I just don't really care to, uh, to bust it out unless I have to. It's very, it's very time consuming. Yeah, we'll put it that way. This does have a bull bar on the front, so I'm going to stand on it because it's going to support my weight no problem. I'm going to switch out the tip on my uh, pressure washer as well, by the way. Um, right now I think it's a 25 degree. I'm going to grab the 40. It has been sitting for long enough, so we've got our 40 degree nozzle and we're gonna give it a good spray off here. I like the 40 degree because it's 
it's fanning out the, the pressure a lot more. Sick. So I picked this up around um, Black Friday because uh, the Chemical Guys Detail Garage had a, uh, a special on it. It's a air blaster, so we're just gonna use it to help dry it off. Uh, so now I'm just gonna drop the hood and we're gonna let it dry on its own while we wash the rest of the exterior of the truck. Nice. Oh God, the top is mangled. Is it bad up there? It's just swirl city. You ready? Yeah, go for it. All right, so we're gonna give it a quick rinse down with just some water and then hit the uh, foam cannon on it. We got three ounces of the Adams Mega Foam. Hi guys. And uh, yeah, it's really personal right here. Got some bird poop right there that I really want to get off. It's already etched its way into the clear coat. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty bad. Believe it or not, it's actually getting pretty warm here in January already. Yeah, hopefully it drops down like it does. Yeah. And now the fun begins. Um, because we are working in direct sunlight, I don't want to let this thing sit in the sun for a very long time because I don't want water spots to occur. So take our uh, foam, our Pressure washer tip off, pop the foam cannon on, and full send mode. Oh!
All right, so we're just finishing up the last couple panels of the exterior with the two bucket method. Like I said, time is kind of of the essence because I don't want water spots on this black paint, even though we are going to be doing some clay bar and uh, glaze and um, sealant and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I always save these lower rockers for last because they are always the filthiest. They catch all the road tar and all that stuff like this. So I, it is time for the caction. I was imagining my life without you in it. And it seemed really dark. And there was a sliver of light. Oh, that's just the really cool garage lights I came up with. All right, clay luber. <laughs> clay luber and the Adams clay mitt. Uh, this thing is not, again, I gotta take my ring off and I'll gouge paint up, uh, but it's not, it's not overly bad, but it definitely could use it, so. Not as bad as the cruise was. No, not as bad as the cruise. So, we're going to give a healthy coating. Since we are in the shade, I'm gonna go over this whole panel, kind of in one quick motion. Let's get rid of it real quick. Again, this just pulls contaminants out of the clear coat. A lot of people think a clear coat is kind of like a flat line of clear coat and it's not. It has peaks and valleys and stuff inside of it, uh, which is why over time things like to find their way into the clear coat and will kind of really ruin the uh, reflective properties of your paint. Um, a lot of people think the color is actually what makes it pop. It's not the color, it's actually the clear coat that makes it shine. So if we can get all this junk out of the clear coat, it will shine way better. Shine bright like a diamond! Something like that. Something like that. From here on out, everything is not a rush. So take your time. If you're doing these steps, kind of following along, uh, just don't do this in direct sunlight, but it is like glass now. Karen's having some really weird um, focus issues. All right guys, so uh, we uh, have done the clay bar over the entire vehicle. So now what I'm gonna do is go through with Chemical Guys Black Light. It is a glaze designed for dark colored vehicles. Uh, so what it's going to do is help fill in some minor imperfections and scratches and really just kind of help make the paint pop a little bit more before we put a um, uh, some kind of protective coating over top of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this all out here. And then this needs to sit for uh, 15 to 20 minutes on the paint in order to do a, a proper adhesion, adhesion to the uh, the paint and then we'll go ahead and remove it with a microfiber towel afterwards. Adherence, that's the word, proper adherence to the paint.
So now we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, we're doing this section, so we're gonna do the glaze, and then I'm gonna go back through with a ceramic coating. We're gonna put that on there, a uh, spray ceramic, not an actual like hardcore. Um, that would be, we'd have to do some paint correction and stuff for that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we will remove it and flip the truck around. Oh, sorry, we'll do the, the coating of uh, the ceramic spray and then flip it around because it needs to be a cool um, surface and then we'll do the rear. And then the black stuff. And the black stuff. All right guys, so uh, we got the uh, clay luber done. We've got the black light glaze done and we're going to be doing the Chemical Guys Hydrocharge Ceramic Spray Coating. Action. All right. We're gonna apply this, we're gonna let it sit for one to two minutes, and then we're gonna buff off the microfiber towel. Straight lines, folks. That's it. That's it? That's it. Oh. A little goes a long way. You do not need to use a ton of this. Is this like a viscousy too? Uh, a little bit. It kinda has like an oily, like you can look at it and tell that it's it smells good. Uh, I don't think it smells good, but that's just me. Really? I think it smells great. <laughs> that's funny. They say I've heard uh, from people that you can do a year of protection out of this. I don't buy that. No. Um, I'm gonna say probably about six to eight months, uh, but it's very, very easy to do. I think a bottle of this costs like, I wanna say 30 bucks, maybe. And that'll last you. That uh, at least a couple vehicles. Now you can kind of see here, um, I don't know if you guys can tell that well, but it's kind of like, almost looks like it's drying. It looks kind of tacky. Oh yeah, yeah I can see Here that. it looks a little wet still. So I'm gonna let it sit for about another 30 seconds and then take it off. All right, let's go ahead and remove. So you're gonna go over it and you're gonna come back with either the other side of the microfiber towel, um, like I do, I flip it into quarters or uh, just use the whole second one to make sure you get any of the residue off once you're done. All right, well, that's fun. Definitely had some, uh, somebody hit it into something, but we are going to do our absolute best to just get this on the door handles. The problem with masking it off is then you still miss some of the stuff that you want to get on. Do that to get it in there. And then... There you go. Go inside, please. It's not called the dad garage for no reason, guys. I don't think a single episode is gonna go by that you guys don't hear something <laughs> from them coming out saying whatever nonsense they come up with in their brains. Their imagination is something to be desired. All right. Tell me. I didn't record the best time. What's this? It's the ceramic spray coating. Oh yeah? Hydrocharge. Hydrocharge. Hydrocharge these mess. <laughs> you don't even have to bleep that one out. Nope. Bro, you know what we should do? We should put some VHT nightshade on this. Uh... No. So, what do you do with this one? Do you have to wipe it off in 10 minutes? We already talked about this one. I don't remember! Well, luckily, due to post-production and editing, you guys just watched it about three minutes ago. All right, well, we're letting that cure. Oh, never mind, I know it's, it's only three minutes. We'll just wait three minutes and remove it. And then we've got some uh, tire dressing to put on. We're gonna be trying out the Adams Graphene tire dressing. Um, see how well these things can shine up. They're pretty browned over and disgusting because they really haven't been cleaned in God knows how long. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're gonna be finishing it up, pull it out in the sunlight, show you guys some photos as somebody else zooms in on Oh yeah! Thingy. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it comes off. There we go. <laughs> oh, she's now Miss Psycho. 
He tossed me a towel. Which one? Oh, uh, one of the gray ones. Don't actually toss it to me. Are you f kidding me? Go put it in the bin! I threw it on the floor! Don't drop your microfiber towels, kids. It's a moral sin. You know what else is a moral sin? Everything Free about you. Free barrel. The, uh... That'll come up when we epoxy coat the garage floor. Don't worry about it. Burpee, burpee, burpee. We have two hours of footage on this, by the way. Two hours of footage. You recorded for two hours? This was a fun truck to work on. Um, unfortunately, I'm a perfectionist and like to make everything look as good as possible. However, uh, the owner of this vehicle did not want to do a paint correction. This is obnoxious. Just look at me. Um, but uh, I think it came out fantastic for what we had out of it. Uh, it's definitely going to be better protected than what it was. Bring back some depth and gloss to it. Uh, there are definitely some spots we found that I think have been resprayed at some point um, or new parts or something like that, especially the hood and the um, the roof too, the roof looks like it was resprayed because it definitely has a lot of orange peel in it. And so, um, yeah, we did the best we could with these tires. The tires were uh, um, very, very worn out, we'll put it that way. So, anyways guys, I appreciate you guys checking in and watching this. If you guys like what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, like the video, please. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and uh, hit the uh, bell for notifications. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Pretty sure we have a Harley lined up for next week, so stay tuned for that.